Hello viewers, welcome to the channel and another video on 3D exercise. In this video, we'll be designing this 3D model and we'll focus on ways to create a tapo angle on this piece here using the pad and draft tool available in the part design workbench. I hope you like this video. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And if you want to support the content of this channel, there's a link in the description of this video to my Ko-Fi page. Thank you. Now let's go to the video. First go to FreeCAD and on the start page, create a new document, just click on this plus icon and next change the workbench to part design workbench. And as usual in this workbench, we need to create a body or we can directly create a sketch. It will create this body automatically. So here we'll start by creating a sketch and the XY plane. Okay, go to FreeCAD and just click here in this icon and select XY plane for this first sketch. Okay, now we go to sketch geometry, these are tools here. And from here we need to select this tool here, slot tool. Just click in this icon and start drawing this slot here in the origin point. And now just click on this vertical axis. And as you can see now we have our slot and two degrees of freedom. Okay, and now escape and next select this arc here and delete. Okay, now we have first degrees of freedom as you can see. Next, select line tool and now connect these two points here. Okay, now we have for the reserve freedom as you can see. Escape now. And if we drag this point here, we can see that this line here is not a vertical line. And also this line here. We need these two lines here to be vertical lines. So we can select these two lines in this way and next apply this constraint here, constraint vertical. Okay. And now we have this and two degrees of freedom again. Okay, next let's constrain the size of this sketch here. Let's select constraint distance, this tool here. For this horizontal line, let's set 30. Okay, and this line here, let's set 100. Okay, and now we have this sketch full constrained. To leave this sketch, we can press escape two times or use this icon here, just click here to leave the sketch and now press home on your keyboard and we'll see this sketch, okay? The next thing to do is to create an extrusion of this sketch here. Let's use the pad tool, but first we need to select this sketch. We can, for example, select this link here and use pad tool. Okay, the length of this pad here must be 28 millimeters and Enter. Okay, now that we have our first salt, the next step is to create a tapo angle on this part here, like in this 3D reference, as you can see. To do that, we have two ways. We can use a parameter in the pad tool, or we can use the draft tool, I mean this tool here. If we're going to use the parameter and the pad tool, we need to go to the model tip. And in this last operation, double click. And in the pad params, we go to tapo angle. From here, we can set and change the tapo angle of this extrusion. For example, if we change here to 10 degrees, as you can see, we have this tapo angle on this extrusion. We can reverse the duration of this. To do that, we need to add minus in this angle. For example, let's set minus 10 degrees here. As you can see, we reverse the duration, okay? But as you can see, the tapo angle and this pad parameter was applied in the extrusion itself and it's not the same result in this 3D reference. In this 3D reference, it seems like we're selected individual faces. Okay, so we can't use this parameter because we can't select individual faces. Okay, so we cancel this. And next you use the draft tool, this tool here. As you can see here, we'll have to select this face, this face, three face here. Okay. Let's do that. Go to this model, select this face here, and now control, select this face, and next this face here, and now select draft tool. Okay, and as you can see, we have this face selected. And the next thing to do is to change the angle. For example, I change here to 10 degrees. And as you can see, we don't have a result here. That is because we need to set a neutral plane for this operation. So we click on this button and we'll take the model and we need to select this bottom face here. Just click here. 
and now as you can see we have this okay and if we change to the right view we can see that all is correct like in the studio reference okay so let's click ok next we'll create a pocket on this part here so now just create a sketch let's select wise plane for this sketch select wise plane okay and the next select external jump tool and extra this edge here to get this endpoint and this edge here and this edge okay and next select rectangle tool and start drawing this rectangle in this endpoint here and draw this rectangle in this way now skip and select this line here delete okay and now just drag this point in this way and next just click here and select this type of arc here and points and dream point select this option and the next just click in this point here and now click here and draw this arc and next click in this endpoint of this arc and click in this endpoint here and draw this arc okay now we have nine degrees of freedom for this sketch okay next select line tool and connect these two points here these two endpoints and skip select this line here and change this line to construction geometry just click in this icon and as you can see the color changed so now this line is not a normal line it's a construction line okay next select this tool here to create a point create a point here in this line and next use this tool here to constrain this point in this arc here okay now I have this next let's select constraint distance tool this tool here and let's add the dimension of this line here just click here and set 20 millimeters and for this line here let's add 125 millimeters okay now we have this escape and i think here we have to set constant constraint for these two points here so select these two points in this way and set constant okay and next select vertical distance tool and select these two points here and set 10 millimeters and next let's select horizontal constraint and now just click here and now in this point and set 45 millimeters the distance now we have three degrees of freedom next let's click here and select constraint radius for this arc here let's set a result of 425 millimeters and this arc here let's add 360 okay and also let's set the uh, tangent constraint for this point here just select this point and set tangent okay and now we have this sketch full constrained escape two times and next let's use this tool here pocket tool just click here and first we check this options smart to plane and you set true goal sorry you need to set true goal and now just click ok and as you can see now have this we have this pocket and the next thing to do is to create a thickness on this part here we have to select this bottom face here select this face and now just click on thickness tool this tool here first check this option thickness inwards and the value of the thickness will be two millimeters and now just click ok okay now we have this and next we'll create a pocket here as you can see just select this face and select pocket tool and click ok now we have this and the next thing to do is to create these all holes on this part here so let's start by creating a sketch in the yz plane for this pocket here okay let's go to our model and next create a sketch on yz plane okay and now what we do we go to sketch jumps and from here we need to select this tool slot tool and draw these three slots okay now we have this let's hide all constraints of these slots just click in this icon and the next thing that we we'll do is to set the arcs of these slots equal okay so what you do escape and now just select these 
these arcs of these slots and set equal constraint. And next we apply a horizontal constraint for these for the center points of these slots here. So zoom in, select the center point, this center point and the center point, and set constraint horizontal. Okay, and now we have this. And next let's extract this edge here. Select external join tool and extract this edge. Now we have this. And next select vertical distance tool and now just click here in this point and in this center point and set seven millimeters okay and next select horizontal distance tool click in this point and in this point here and the distance will be 10 and from the center point to this point here let's set 25 millimeters and from this slot for this slot here let's set 30 Okay, and next let's set the rates of these arcs here. So zoom in and select constraint radius and just click in this arc here and the radius will be three millimeters. Okay, and now we have this. And also we have three degrees of freedom. Next let's select constraint vertical, this tool here, just click here. And for this line here, let's add 13. This line here, let's add 10 and this one here let's add five millimeters okay now we have this sketch full constrained and the dimensions for this sketch as you can see we have this okay skip two times and now let's create holes using the sketch here select pocket tool and check this option smart plane and let's change here the type to toggle and just click ok and as you can see now we have this three pockets in these two sides of this part here like in this 3d reference okay the next thing to do is to create these holes here we will create the sketch for these holes on the xy plane okay so here we click on this icon and we select xy plane for this sketch okay first we can draw a cycle here for this hole so what do you do? We select cycle tool on sketch jumps and we start the cycle here on the region point. And next we select constraint rate, constraint diameter, and we set the diameter of the cycle to 15 millimeters. And next you can try sketch for these three holes here. So let's change to the top view. And as you can see, we can use this tool here, slot tool, to draw these sketches. Select slot tool. And let's draw these slots here in this vertical axis. And let's set the size of this slot. Let's select this over here, constraint distance. And just click on this line here and set the length of 10 millimeters. And the diameter for this arc here, let's add, let's add 8 millimeters. And as you can see, now we have one degree of freedom. Let's select the external jump tool and extract this edge here. And let's set a distance, select vertical distance tool. Just click here in this point and in this end point here. And let's add 12 millimeters. And next, let's hide these all constraints. Okay, just click in this icon to hide all constraints. And the next thing that we'll do is to create a clone, two clones of this slot here. So what you need to do is to select these all geometers of this slot here. And now just click here and select clone. And next click on this vertical axis. And let's do it again. Select this slot and now click here on this icon and place this slot here. Okay, as you can see we have six degrees of freedom here. So I think we have to constrain vertical this two slots here but if we drag this slot as you can see we have this problem and also this slot here so first what you can do is to apply a vertical constraint for these lines here so let's select this line and this line here and apply a vertical constraint okay like this and next select this point this point and also this point here and set vertical okay now we have this and two degrees of freedom Let's select this tool here, constraint vertical distance. And let's add the distance here. Let's add 15. 
and now these two center points here let's add 15 and now escape two times and let's create a pocket select pocket tool to create these holes let's add to go here and reverse this operation and as you can see now we have this we have these all holes just click ok and the next step is to create this charm for okay so what you can do is to select we can select this edge here Control select this edge and also this edge here and now chamfer two and the size of this chamfer we can set one no problem just click OK so as you can see we finished the design of this model so what can I say is thank you for watching this video until the end and I hope to see you in the next video and also don't forget to watch the other videos of this channel.